Hi, my name is Mike Keffer, and I run Clawhammer Press right here in Fernie, BC. I'm at the ArtStation, and I want to show you a little bit about how to use the little etching press safely. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take a little bit of ink, and you can see we've got an acrylic surface down here, so it's nice and smooth for inking. So we're just going to give ourselves a little dollop. Now, because we're putting the ink on really, really thin, we don't need that much. And this is actually like more than we need, so I'm going to move some of it to the middle of our acrylic sheet. And I'm going to use our brayer, or roller. We're just going to spread that out nice and thin by turning the roller all the directions. And what you want to do is listen to the ink. It should make a nice hissing sound. Not a splattery sound, not like a velvety sound. And it should make an almost an orange peel kind of a um, texture on the roller and on the sheet. So depending on how big your block is that you're printing, we might need a little bit more or a little bit less, depending. The next thing we're going to do is ink the block. So I've carved this little trumpet drawing out of linoleum here, and we're just going to ink it. So I'm going to pick up some ink on the brayer, and I'm going to apply it in a variety of directions, and you can see the coverage. So we're, we're putting a little bit of pressure, but not a ton. We'll go both directions, and we're going to change the angle a little bit to make sure we get all the way to the corners and the edges. Try and do your best not to roll off the edge. I've kind of done that a little bit over here because this is a weird shape. And you never ever want to do this on the press because you end up with little bits of ink and that'll get onto your paper. So the press is always a clean spot, whereas this is your messy spot. Before we actually get to printing, I want to talk about a couple of safety considerations and adjustments that you have on this press. Now to begin with, you have to be careful because there's two big gears over on this side and when you turn them, you can easily get your finger pinched in here. So you really want to make sure to keep your hands far away from those. And if you do pinch your fingers, stop turning the handles. The second thing is that this press has two big rollers, one above and one below. Hard to see the below one. And they're an adjustable tension, so you can adjust the tension on the roller and therefore on the print by screwing these things down. Now what we don't want to do is if you put too much pressure so that it flattens out the paper and the, the felt blankets, what you want is enough pressure to transfer the ink but not crush everything in between. So what we do is we start with a little bit of pressure and we adjust down a little bit at a time until you find the right pressure. And it might take a few passes through to figure that out. It's called proofing and that's why we have proofs. So the next thing, the next part is this press bed here, and you have to be careful because this big sheet of steel can come right out. It's not attached to the press. So if I take the pressure right off, I can literally pull this sheet right out. It's very, very heavy. So be careful with that. We do have marks on here, and so you never want this sheet, the press bed, to come out past these marks. The felt blankets should be tucked under so they come out the other side. Easier said than done. There we go. And then you can just flop them over here. So this is where we'd be putting our block to print. And we've inked up this nice little trumpet here. So we're going to set it there right in the middle. You can tape it down if you don't want it to, to shift around when you put the paper on, but if you're not worried about that, you can just uh, set it on there. And that makes it easier to take off when you're inking the block. Okay, so we've got our block on here. And we're just going to lay the paper carefully down so it covers our whole block and, and just smooth it onto there like that. Then we take the felt blankets and we lay them this way. That's hanging off a little bit, so we might pull this through. There we go. Now we want to want to adjust this so it goes through. Now it's the tension is pretty low, 
So you can see this roller here isn't even turning. So what we can do is tighten it up a little bit until we get some pressure. You can feel a little bit as you tighten. You want them to feel about the same tension. And we're just gonna turn it. Like this, if it's not turning, you can increase the tension just a little bit until you get to one side. Remember, this doesn't go all the way through. And we're gonna be able to get it out of there. We're gonna to back it up. It doesn't matter if we go back to this. So that's what it looks like when we print it. So if we can have a closer look here, there's a little bit of um, saltiness, is what the printmakers call it, right here. And it looks like it maybe didn't get pressure or ink right here, which means we need to re-ink, try another proof. You can also see that this paper has a number of little creases from the pressure. Um, you can change that by using uncarved linoleum to sort of shim around it. So if I was using a square block like this, and I didn't want the paper to get creased, get creased, I could put uncarved linoleum here and here and here, and then drop the block in there, and then the pressure would be even on the whole surface, but I would only be printing the inked part. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a change here. We're using a thicker paper. This is the Strathmore printmaking paper. And I've also taken out two of the felt blankets, so it's a thinner blanket. It might make a little bit of a stiffer impression. Um, and uh, so just to try a couple different things to see what the result is. This paper is really small, so we want to get it on there in the middle. And again, down goes the blanket. The pressure. And we got a little too much, it's not going to let it through. It doesn't have the extra cushion of the blanket, so we need to get the pressure a little more accurate. Back it off a little bit. There we go. see that. Also you can see that there's a little bit of, of the impression coming through. So we actually pushed the ink into the paper, but there's less creasing on the thicker paper. So it's all about playing with the amount of pressure and the amount of blankets to make sure that you get the, the effect that you want when you're printing. All right, so this is what you do when you're done at the end of your printing session. We want to make sure that this press has a nice long life. So the first thing is that we're going to make sure the blankets are flat on the press bed. We're going to return it to the middle for balance as much as anything on this little pedestal. And then we're going to just back the pressure off so that we don't create flat spots in the felt blankets. And uh, just leave it like that. So make sure that these slide through easily and back the press right off. There we go. So we'll just sit nice and flat and there's no flat spots. So that's it. So that's our little primer on the use of this etching press. And uh, the only thing to remember is if you notice something going wrong with the press or something's not working right, please let one of the staff at the art station know so we can make sure that the, it's well made.